Every day of our lives, we live in a world that is incredibly complex. And you have to remember, we all have a two million year old brain. And it's not designed to make you happy, it's designed to make you survive. So it's always looking for what's wrong. So why would we allow this to be? Because it's just a bad habit. And so we need a daily practice. And so I wanna show you how I do this for me and I want you to create your own system based on it. This mind serves me. I don't negotiate with it. Remember I told you? I don't say, well, I'll do this. Well, maybe we could do it. Maybe we'll jump in the water now. It's like, it knows I'm not here to negotiate. When I say it, we do it. That's what we wanna train ourselves to do today. Whenever you wanna make a change or improve something, the first place you wanna improve it is in your mental emotional state. If you do something from a pissed off state, from an exhausted state, from a frustrated state, from a weak state, it won't matter what you do. The thoughts are weak when you're in a weak place. The actions are weak. So the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you a simple breathing pattern. And the breathing pattern, if you're familiar with yoga, it's like breath of fire, it's similar to breath of fire. And it's a movement, and what it's gonna look like is this. You're gonna sit up in your chair with energy, we're gonna raise our hands up as we take the air in, and then you're gonna blow it up. Only you're gonna blow it out your nose. And we're gonna do that over and over again for 30 breaths. You're gonna do this with your eyes closed, then you're gonna drop your hands down, palms up on your weight, on your legs, and you're just gonna feel whatever you feel. You might notice some tingling, you might notice a sense of peace. You might just feel relaxed. And then we'll do another three sets of 10, another 30, we'll relax, and then another. So we're gonna do three sets of 30. Three sets of 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, with a break between them. When you're done with that, you're ready to prime, because it puts you in state. Priming is three actions, it's done in 10 minutes. You can do more than 10, and many of you will enjoy it so much, you'll go longer. But the reason I do 10 minutes of priming is, I wanted to come up with a daily discipline there was no excuse not to do. If you don't have 10 fucking minutes for your life, you don't have a life. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna do our three sets of 10, three sets of 10, three sets of 10. Then with our eyes closed, the first three and a third minutes of the 10 minutes is we're gonna focus on three experiences in our life that we can feel deeply grateful for. Three of them. And we're not gonna think of like, oh, this, this, this. We're gonna take them one at a time, spend about a minute each, and step into that moment in your life that you could feel grateful for. It could be a little thing or a big thing, it doesn't matter. What matters is that you go there. You know, if I asked you what's it like to be on a roller coaster, and you remember a time when you're on a roller coaster and you picture yourself on a roller coaster over there, you're gonna give me a very different feedback than if I get you to imagine the moment you were going over the edge and you're in the front seat, then you're gonna show me a different result. You want your gratitude to be in the front seat, not an intellectual gratitude out there. So I take three minutes, a minute each, I come up with something different every time, I think of a moment that I could feel so grateful for, a blessed moment, a beautiful moment, a loving moment, a sacred moment, and I step in and feel it and flood myself with the gratitude. Gratitude is the antidote to the two emotions that mess up most people's lives. What are they? Anger and what? Fear. Those are the two biggies. You cannot be grateful and angry simultaneously. That's the beauty of it. It's the antidote to anger. You can't be fearful and grateful simultaneously. So the more you cultivate and prime yourself for gratitude, the more you can push through anger and fear very quickly. And by the way, when I do it, I usually pick two strong ones and then I pick something really simple and I make myself really feel the gratitude like the wind on my face or the smell of the ocean if I'm doing it outside by my house or the look on one of my children's faces. And I'll just fill that up and the reason is if all you do is get grateful about big things, you're gonna miss most of life. After we do our breathing, step one of the three steps, first the breathing, then the three steps, one, gratitude. Three minutes roughly, a minute each, three different moments you can feel grateful for and feel it, enjoy it, savor it, live in it. Next three and a third minutes. Second piece we're gonna do is you're gonna feel the energy in you and do a prayer or a blessing. Now, I know many of you are not religious. I'm not suggesting you need to be. But almost all of us know there's a power in love. You know, if God was love, and we didn't come up with all the other names for God, you wouldn't have much argument between people. So imagine that what you're gonna do is, imagine uh, energy of God, the universe, whatever you want to imagine, coming down into you like a white light and breathing it down in through your body, down your legs, into the earth, and then coming back up and out again. So it's and then comes back up, 
And you don't have to do this with your hands, but I'm trying to show you what the feeling is. And while you're doing this, what you're going to do during those three minutes is you're going to give thanks. And it's like a prayer saying, heal my body, my mind, my emotions, strengthen me, make me the best I can be, strengthen my love, my passion, my courage, whatever it is that you value in yourself. And you feel that happening. Of the three minutes, I do that for about a minute and a half. And the other minute and a half, I then take that energy through me and I send it in a circle around to my children, to my family, to my friends, to my coworkers, to my associates, to my partners, to the people I meet on the street, to my clients. And so it's taking the energy. And now you might sound like woo-woo stuff, but the idea of allowing your nervous system to heal and strengthen, just the focus of that alone, for you is strong and sending to others as well. So you can think it's all bullshit. But try it and decide based on the experience. If you do it a while, I think you're going to find it'll deepen that sense of gratitude because it becomes not only gratitude, but a healing, a strengthening, and a gift to those you love. The last three minutes, I call three to thrive. You're going to think of three things that you really want to accomplish or achieve, but instead of like hoping it happens or thinking about it happening, you're going to step in your mind and experience it as if it's done. You're going to see it or feel it, breathe it, celebrate it like you've already achieved the goal. What you're doing is training your reticular activating system. And we talked about this the other day, the part of your brain that notices things. When you didn't, you know, before you bought that car outfit, you never noticed them. Now you buy that car outfit, those cars and outfits are everywhere. How come? Because your RAS, now that you own one, says, this is important. I need to pay attention to this. Well, when you get clear what you want, and you see it as done and feel it and create it in your mind and your heart and you celebrate it, there's a sense of certainty that enters your body and your reticular activating system starts to go to work on making it happen. So you spend a minute each on those. So basically three minutes each, three and a third minutes each, and we're done. If you want to do the actual exercise with Tony guiding you along, check the link right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe and I'll see you there. Here we go. 